Patrick. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Great background. So, <laughs> thank you. Amazing <laughs> job on the film. And I know this is adapted from the book, uh, The Knife the knife of Never Letting Go. Uh, first question I have for you, though, is, look, I read the first book, and uh, one of the challenges I knew had to be there was to, to how, how the voice was going to look. So uh, can you talk to me about the process of, or sorry, the noise. Yeah. Can you talk to me about the process of bringing the noise uh, to the big screen? Uh, and is it always... The, the way that it came out on the film, is that always the way it, it played out in your head? Oh, it, well, it, it was definitely the very longest conversation we had. It was from very, very start. How are we going to do this so it's not a mess, so it's not oppressive, so it's not confusing? And I saw many, many different versions as, you know, they tried like, well, what, what, how does this look? How does this look? And, uh, you know, my vision, it was slightly different in the book, but only slightly. And I set all of that aside because uh, the scene that I love the most about the noise is a small scene in the movie where Daisy Ridley is walking up the hill and Tom Holland is behind her thinking grumpy thoughts about her. And you can see them flying out the back of his head. And that to me is perfect. It doesn't feel like something we've really seen before, but it feels like exactly what visualized thought would be. I was very happy with that. Now, how is watching your book come to life? And is there a favorite scene uh, that you watched filmed? You filmed? There, uh, yes, I, <laughs> I was on set during a very swampy day with uh, a swamp that had actual leeches in it. You could see them swimming around and that's fun. You know, think when am I ever going to stand in a swamp again? Uh, but there was a, there's a great scene in a lean, in a sort of a makeshift lean to in the rain, which I don't want to give it away because it's a nice little comedy moment. Uh, but uh, that was sort of made up kind of the day before. And uh, I thought this is, this is great. This is perfect. And it's just so funny. It's not in the book. It's something new and wonderful. So I won't give it away, but it's a good funny moment. Now, uh, Todd and Viola, uh, in the movie, they're a bit older than they are in the book, I believe. Uh, did the age difference affect or alter the relationships uh, in the film? Not really. The part of the book I wanted to suggest was that the age in the book where he becomes a man is just arbitrary. And right. she points out later in the book that the moon here is different. So you could be any age, uh, you, know, with, you know, so why does it, what does it mean that this age makes, makes you a man? And so that uh, Tom, Tom and Daisy are a little bit older, not even a problem with me because it's, it's sort of they embody who Todd and Viola really are. Right. Um, it, it makes the relationship a little more mature, but I, I, not in any way that causes me any pain. And Jennifer Lawrence is quite a bit older than the character of Katniss, but none of us mind because Jennifer Lawrence is amazing. So, uh, so I'm good with that. Now, was there anything you intentionally changed in the film because uh, because uh, the thought because you thought of it after the book was published? Uh, I don't regret anything. If that's what you're asking, uh, yeah. there, there's there's a bit of a plot point that everybody yells at me for, but uh, I stand by it because <laughs> it has to happen. It's just sad. Um, but the possibility of what you can see um, is things like that scene in the lean to. You think, ah, yeah. this wasn't in the book but um, this is what it can do because this is how we're seeing it. So there's a chance to do something new. So I'm very, very open to that. Now, when, I made, when I made a Monster Calls, the director on that was always like, there's no bad ideas. They have, uh, there's no, uh, an idea is important on its own or it's not. It's not who it comes from or where or when. And that was a huge lesson that I took with me to this. So. Well, I'm glad you brought this to life. It, it's an amazing film and thank you so much because the noise, the noise alone is quite creative. So thank yeah. you so much, man. Amazing job. Oh, thank you very much. Really nice to hear.